Hello. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Um, going straight into it, we're going to read the comments. We have... Whoa. We have comments from both last episode and the episode before. Because I recorded the last episode super early and it... Nobody had commented yet. <laughs> um, so anyways. One thing I want to do is I want to try getting a little bit closer to the wizard because... If you get four hearts with him, you get access to his basement, which sounds a little creepy, but it's fine. Um, where you can change your name, gender, appearance, favorite thing, yada yada. I don't necessarily know if I want to change all of that, but I kind of just want to be able to go to his basement for fun. <laughs> I was also told that I should definitely break geodes. Hopefully I didn't actually talk about this last episode and I totally forgot. If I did, sorry, but I'm just reading them twice, I guess. So breaking geodes is a must for the museum. And then mystery boxes give me seeds, fertilizer, warp token, totems, etc. Uh, so, I mean, I guess we can decide if we want to do that. I don't... Well, we should have enough money to break through quite a bit. So maybe we'll do that this episode. Okay. I was told to put Jade in the crystallarium. So my question is, is there a way to get another one? Or can you change what is in them? I'll test it. But something, I feel like I remember that once you put something in, you can't take it out, but we'll see. Okay, and the reason you want to put Jade in the Crystallarium is because you can trade them for staircases at the Desert Trader on Sundays, which is helpful for the Skull Cavern. Um, and then when I get my first prismatic shard, I'm supposed to take it to the desert and stand in the center of those three pillars that I asked about. Um, the Midnight Carp is an ingredient in seafoam pudding, unless you're doing a 100% perfection run where you have to cook every recipe, or you really want the fishing buff, you don't need it. So, most likely I'm going to end up selling it. <laughs> For the Grange display, I was told to use a diamond, egg, mayo, ancient fruit, star fruit, stonefish, fairy rose, autumn's bounty, and then my best veggie. So we're going to do that. Um, firstly, I'm actually going to start with that so that I don't forget. And I'm pretty sure today is that... Oh, why is this taking so long? I thought something was going to happen. It took so long to load. Okay, well, it doesn't look like I can take it out. And I kind of don't want to try breaking it to ruin it. So we're just going to wait it out. I hope you've entered the school cavern. Well, oh, pff, I see you've entered the school cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep i've got a mountain of money to send if you can do it oh how much is a mountain is it actually worth it <laughs> okay well first off autumn's bounty should be in this one there we go stonefish egg mayo ancient fruit star fruit fairy rose oh a diamond my best veggie pumpkin diamond ha ha okay so nine cool sick got it okay now we are going to hurry up and do our little farm chores and we are going to head to the farm is it a farmer's market i don't know <gasps> i am so glad i just got a gold star broccoli because you guys know what i just almost did i think i get it back but just to be safe I almost just messed up my dang pumpkins. <gasps> the fair has begun. Okay, on our way to the farm. Hi, Pam. Excuse me. To the farm, to the fair. What am I saying? Did I say fair? Oh. <gasps> I forgot that the fair is where you can get... Oh my gosh. You can get a... <laughs> okay, well, we need to get um 2,800 because I want the rick row. Wait, do we have that one? A prize ticket. Guys. I think we might need to get busy. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. Hey, best of luck to you if you enter. Well, too bad I'm going to beat him. My store carries the very finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my Grange display closely and see for yourself. I tried my best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. Well, maybe the judges will give me bonus points for the massive cheese wheel. I would. <laughs> Are you setting up a green display? It's your chance to show off all the good produce from the snazzy. <laughs> I forgot I named it the snazzy. Okay, well, let's go around and chat to everyone, and then I'm going to set up my display. These animals never judge people by their looks. The same can't be said for humans. Yeah... 
All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. Moo. Ow, a hen pecked my little finger. <laughs> and just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. I've got some soul searching to do. Yeah. Hey, having a good time? The slingshot tent is pretty fun, and if you get good at it, you can really rack up the star tokens. It's kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Wellwick and I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Dot dot dot. That clown, I know him from somewhere. Was it the School of Illusion or maybe the Carnival of Secrets? Hmm. What? <gasps> yes, I want you to read my fortune. Hmm, I see you laying on a cot. It looks like a hospital. Linus is there to keep you company while you recover. What a nice friend. Now I see you and Harvey in a dimly lit room. You look serious but not unhappy. Something important must be happening. The crystal ball has moved on. Now I see you relaxing on the riverbanks holding a fishing pole. Oh, looks like something big is on the line. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. So what does that mean? Someone who knows about this game, can you tell me like what that meant? <laughs> like I'm assuming whoever's listed or mentioned in it is based off of like your friendship. I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I am very proud to be part of. Robin really works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. Clint's blades get sharper every year. So do his prices. <laughs> you know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. He doesn't look very happy. I guess Mayor Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. Does he say anything? No. Is there some lore about that? I won the Wheel of Chance 10 times in a row and now the man won't let me play anymore. Oh, I already beat all the games, now what? I played the strength game too many times and now my arm feels like rubber. Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. I already saw her, she told me something interesting. <laughs> Better hurry up kid before old Pam here fishes every last lunker out of the tent. <laughs> I don't remember which game technically is the best to do. But I'm going to set this up. We're going to put the diamond in the middle, obviously. And then... We'll do it like that. Why not? It looks a little janky, but it's fine. Oh my god, there's stuff up here? Ugh. What? I wish Gus would include a vegetarian option. Some zucchini skewers, maybe? Hmm, smoked turkey haunch? I guess the festival isn't all that bad. Eat as much as you like. It's all free today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. Oh, make sure to dribble some of my secret sauce on there. What is that? Oh my god, I just ate a burger? I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. Do you really want to know? Slurp- Mmm, this barbecue sauce is amazing. Okay, well, I assume that is all that. So now, I'm gonna go grind for some stars. Okay, I don't really remember how many star tokens I needed, but I think I kind of did. So, I want the star drop. We're doing this first because it's the most important. Nom nom. Yeah! Wow. Found a star drop, your mind is filled with thoughts of mango. Maximum energy level has increased. Yippee. Okay. And then I wanted the rare crow. And then the other thing I wanted was the glowstone ring because then I can do this. Ha -ha. And now I can fit another one. I don't know what other ring I want, but we have that. Okay. Now I think that's all I really need to do besides the grand display, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to Lewis. Well, it's the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a grand display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set everything up so we can get to the judging. I'm done. Oh, are you already finished setting up your grand display? Yes, I am. Mwahaha. What do I do? Oh, he's coming. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see. 
Imagine I don't actually win. <laughs> He's looking at it. Look at that diamond, Lewis. Ooh, oh, okay. I felt like he looked at that for a while. Oh. What's the verdict? I like how Pierre's actually says Pierre's. Like, okay. <laughs> Your great display has been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis for the result. Returning. <gasps> Congratulations, you won first place with a rating of 104. Your prize is at 1,000 star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your grain display box. Are you kidding? I didn't even need to do all that work. Thank you. Okay, let's talk to everyone again. Wow, I got a low score. I guess Mayor Lewis isn't much of a fish man. Oh, well. Well, I didn't win, but it was still satisfying to share all my hard work. Oh, I can't believe I lost. <laughs> okay, well, what can I spend these tokens on? I could get a prize ticket. I'm getting a prize ticket, and then I'm getting the sunflowers. I don't really care about these. So, hopefully it's not bad if I ignore them, but I think I'm just gonna leave. Yes. It's not like we can't come back next year. Oh my gosh! Oh. <gasps> Y'all. Okay, moment of truth. Did we have this one? We didn't. Yay! Okay, stick them right there. Why not? I don't know. All right. So, it's raining. So that means we ha Oh my god, my pumpkins grew. Hold on. Pause. I'm pausing everything. Are we gonna get the five-star pumpkin? Hallelujah. We only got one. I'll take it, honestly. Oh, wait. These are the ones. I had more pumpkins planted. I didn't even notice. Okay, well, either way. That means we finished another bundle, guys. So we can run and go do that. <gasps> we also got our first goat milk. Y'all, this is so exciting. I saw something recently where your ducks can swim if you have like a little body of water and now i feel like that's a goal is i want to somehow get like a little pond to where i can see my duck swim grab the mystery boxes and then all the geodes i'm saving the omni geodes though oh maybe i should try nope okay well we'll have to figure out putting the jade in a crystallarium another day. I feel like in the past I've had multiple crystallariums, so there has to be another way to get one. Am I just dumb and you can craft it? Hold on. No, I don't think so. I don't have it yet at least. Maybe eventually. Okay, plan for today. We're gonna run to the community center first, drop off our five star pump- oh my gosh, our five gold star pumpkins. So then we have that bundle. Actually, that might be another star we just got. No, actually, because I'm pretty sure that's the same bundle you need for the animal stuff. But either way, it's one more thing we'd never have to worry about. Aha! Look at that! What do we get? Oh, a preserves jar, okay. Let's see, oh yeah, so the artisan one and then the animal bundle. So once we get our large goat milk, which shouldn't take too much longer, I'd say definitely within the next couple episodes, we'll have this one totally done. This one we can pretty much get done. Oh, we're going to be able to do this one pretty soon because we have the goat milk now. Honestly, if we, whichever comes first, upgrade the barns more or getting to spring and having... Oh, actually, it's probably going to be the barn stuff because all of the fruits grow in different seasons. Ooh. Hold on. Pam should be busting out of here soon, shouldn't she? Or if she's already... Oh, if she has to be there at 10, she's probably already at the bus stop. We're going to sprint up and give her the pale ale so I don't forget. There she is. Hi, Pam. I have a present. I probably shouldn't be giving you this as you're going to drive a bus, but... Give me that slurp. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. It's real nice and hoppy and notes of citrus and pine, but with a robust body to keep it grounded. Thanks, kid. This means a lot to me. I knew I could count on you. I'm concerned of what I just did, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, next on the agenda is going to Lewis's and using our prize ticket. 
Hello. Oh. I don't really know if I wanted that. What is this? You can get a bed. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure this was just like flower seeds. Yeah. Well, could be worse. Now, let's go over to Clint's and force him to break open all of these geodes for me. Okay, let's do the mystery boxes first. I got... Oh, wait, we need a fried egg for one of the community center things. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? A dwarf gadget? Huh? Okay, well, let's see how much of this is new stuff. Hey. Oh, oh, actually, we got a lot. Oh, new reward. At some point, I will go and reorganize all this, but... Oh, ha! That's exciting. Okay, what do we get? Burnt offering. I don't think I've ever gotten that. Why does it remind me of, like, the blood points in Dead by Daylight? <laughs> okay, well, we are a little bit closer now to completing um, the museum stuff and getting that key to go down and see Krobus. I feel like... Um, once... How do we get a prismatic shard? Hold on. You know what? I don't think I've ever found that out. If you guys can let me know that, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna need to remake sure... Oh, it's the jade. Never mind. Never mind. I don't have to go back. It's a jade that we go to the staircases. So what the heck is this? This thing is huge. What is that? That looks creepy. I put the bear out here. The bear's going right there. I don't know why, but it just it's going there. Okay. I am going to sprint up to the community center Actually, we're going to go to Robin's first, just because her place has a closing. Oh, wait, is she open on Wednesdays? Mm, I don't know. We'll see if she's in here, but I want to... Oh, oh my god, I forgot I did this. Hold on. Pause. Cutscene. I talked to Willie. Hi. <laughs> it's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. I might have had something to do with it, but we don't need to tell him that. Magic. This stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, do you see that glistening in the water? I do indeed. Yes, that's quality ore. Wow. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what this means, right? Mm, it means we can start panning for ore. It is called panning. Okay. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Maybe I should start doing this. Copper pan. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. Oh. You received a copper pan. Okay, is there something here that I can test it on? Because I kind of want to test it now. I don't see any. Darn it. Okay, well that's fine. Eventually, I'm going to try and remember to keep that on me and eventually we will test it out and see. I truly, I've said this before, I don't know if it's actually worth it to pay attention to. But, it's unlocked now. Okay. I wanted to see how much... Oh, how much is it? 10,000 and 400 pieces of wood to upgrade my house. And then to do the farm, deluxe barn, which I believe is the highest level for that, 25,000, five, oh, 151, 300 stone. Okay, well, we almost have that much money. Coop, 20, okay. I don't necessarily know if it matters which one to do, I mean, I guess technically, I feel like I should do the barn because it unlocks sheep and pig. Sheep, it unlocks sheep and pigs, and those are two things we need for the community center. The sooner we can get that going, the better. 
But anyways, we're gonna drop off this fried egg. Uh, should be chef. Yes. Yeah, because we need the truffle from a pig. I don't know how to make a maki roll, but we'll find out. I'm really not too worried about getting enough money to upgrade the barn and stuff. At this point, now it's getting all the materials for it. Because I feel like we have enough going each day without like spending entire days fishing. Because we got back up to 20,000 pretty dang quick. Well, I honestly might spend the day then cutting down a bunch of trees. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, I have enough wood. Um, we need a bit more stone, but it could be worse. Okay, honestly, what I'm going to do, I feel like we would definitely be able to get enough stone tomorrow to go and upgrade the barn. Ooh, I also kind of, while I think about it, I want to upgrade my axe. I think I'm going to upgrade the barn first, and then if we have extra money after to upgrade my axe, I'll do that. Otherwise, we'll just wait on the axe for now. Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized something. I didn't buy the heaters yet. Here's a recipe for a little treat my puppy used to make. Cook it slow. Cheese cauliflower. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm starting to think maybe I should um, go get the heaters. I also am kind of wondering if I should build another silo. Okay, let's sprint down to Marnie's and see how much it costs for heaters. I feel like you only need one for each. I'm sure hoping so. Oh my god, she's not even in here. Okay, well, in that case, um, I am going to go... <sighs> this might be stupid. We still have a couple days left of fall, so... What I'm gonna do is I am gonna chop or break enough stone to where we have enough to get um, the barn upgrade. While I'm there doing that, I'm also gonna double check how much it is and what you need to get another silo. And so all we need to worry about for the rest of fall is making sure I'm going to have enough money and resources to get the heaters and an extra silo just to make sure <laughs> that we don't have to worry about our poor animals starving. So just to be safe, I'm going to try and get some extra wood and stone here now. Okay, I'm making our way to Robin's. Oh my god, I don't have enough yet for... It's 25. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get enough money yet to get the barn. Like, I don't think I have enough time in the day to do it. Okay, a silo. Oh, 100 gold, 100 stone, 10 clay, 5 copper bar. Easy. We got that. We can do that literally whenever. Okay. Well, we'll see if this does anything for us, but I'm going to try and run down to Willy fish for a little bit i don't know off the top of my head what time robin's close hopefully it's not super early but we'll see if i get lucky enough to get twenty five thousand before we're done otherwise we're just gonna wait until next episode and we'll get the heaters the barn upgrade my axe and the silo all next episode because it should be pretty easy maybe i'll get lucky and be able to afford it just from the shells Okay, well, we only need a thousand. I feel like that has to be doable. We just have to get a little bit lucky here. Okay, well, I am most definitely uh, not getting enough. <sighs> she closes at five, and I really don't foresee me getting $800 in that time frame and still making it up there. So I guess we technically could do this. Is it... Does it say, like, what specific kind of trash? Gather 20 pieces of trash. What counts as trash for this? Like, the actual, like, little trash that looks like a trash bag? Or does also, like, glasses and seaweed and stuff like that count? I don't know if I'm just fishing in a bad spot or what, but I literally have not caught a single piece of trash, and I have been fishing for hours. Haha, <laughs> I think I, I found a little life hack. Now that I've thought about this more, earlier I mentioned... Does that count as trash? I'm assuming so. 
Earlier I mentioned that ducks can swim if they have like some water to swim in. I honestly don't even know if you can create water randomly on your farm or if you're kind of just stuck to wherever farm you pick and wherever the water just is then. You guys should let me know. <laughs> okay, well, we got like seven pieces of trash, so that's a pretty decent start. We'll just have to remember next episode to actually go put them in the recycling bin. <laughs> okay, we officially have enough and extra to upgrade the barn, so next episode honestly probably gonna be the first thing we do um also need to remember to get the heaters like i said and look into building an extra silo if you guys don't think i'll need it to make it through the winter i won't worry about it but if it's better to be safe than sorry i you guys can let me know but i maybe i might as well just do it anyways but yeah uh well we also need to remember to put the trash like i said in the recycling bin uh for linus's little quest that i did otherwise we didn't necessarily do a lot today, but I feel like we prepped a lot to do a lot next episode, if that makes sense. So, very excited to get through all of that, but we are going to leave it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you all next week for more Stardew Valley. Bye!